Welcome back brush monkeys and this week we are painting Toroya the female warrior sculpted by Bobby Jackson uh, it was released by Reaper in 2017 and she's kind of got this Spartan armor thing going on you can barely tell it's a female but that's kind of the point behind armor is to, <laughs> to protect not to necessarily sexualize it always kind of bothers me when they sculpt stupid shit into the armor to make it look more feminine but she's very clearly got some uh, Spartan armor going on here so we're gonna paint her in a lot of uh, reds and golds and I think that's really gonna look uh, fantastic so I've got my Balthazar gold and old gold out I've got Seraphim Sepia to shade wash them and then I'm probably gonna dry brush the armor with a little bit of golden griffin to make it stand out uh, that blade there is gonna be steel and that's going to be um, the uh, Reaper Blackened Steel with a dry brush of Necron Compound over it. Um, the red is going to be Flesh Terror's red for the fabric and this um, Horsehair Crest on her. For the shield, on the other hand, the red is going to be uh, Vallejo Game Color Scarlet Red, which is more akin to... Um, uh, Citadel's uh, corn red. That's kind of the replacement for that. Then I've got uh, the game color extra opaque heavy blue gray for her pants back there. You can kind of see her pants behind the armor, but the armor is all going to be gold. And then for the base, we're going with uh, Nasdreg yellow with a dry brush of Tyrant Skull to give it that kind of nice, uh, kind of Greek deserty look to it, and I think that's going to show off the armor and everything nicely. So yeah, that's what we're doing, and um, let's get started. All right, see you soon. Bye. All right, brush monkeys, um, it's the progress on our girl here. Um, I both have and haven't, and I wanted to use this just for a second to illustrate why we paint from the inside out. Because I got a little enthusiastic about painting the gold armor. As you can see, I put the Balthazar gold on all of it, and it looks really spiffy and everything. And then I realized I was going to have to paint the pants. I was going to have to paint the boots. There's leather straps along the back. Um, some parts of her are exposed, like the arms and the hands. They were going to need to be painted with uh, wraith bone before I do um, the gullum and flesh for the skin and the snake bite leather for the leathers. And really, if I had just chilled the fuck out and <laughs> thought about it a second, I would have done those parts first, gotten the skin out of the way, and then gone back and done the gold. Now what I'm going to have to do is go back, I'm going to have to do those parts and then go back and touch up the gold. And, uh, and then I can start uh, painting the gold in earnest and, and all that kind of thing. So, yeah. <laughs> So I've got the pants painted. I'm going to shade wash them with a little null oil. Um, I'm going to have to go through and probably do the loincloth there. i got a little bit of gold on the loincloth. So I'm going to have to do that with the uh, wraith bone before I put on the the red. Um, flesh hair is red. I put the red on the shield already because I'm going to have to go through and paint those rims and the design on the shield in Balthazar gold. Which again... Didn't stop to think about that before I started painting gold and realized, oh crap, I'm going to have to paint the shield first. And so yeah, I just made things a lot harder on myself by by just jumping right into it instead of thinking about it first. So this is why we don't do this. <laughs> take, take notes, boys and girls. This is why we don't just jump right into a project without thinking it through first. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the contrast paints on this, the skin and the leathers there. And then we'll come by and uh, touch up all that gold before we start painting the Vallejo old gold on it. All right, see you soon. Bye. All right, brush monkeys, I made some progress here. Um, I got the, as you can see, I got the gold painted on the shield, and I got the shield all touched up around the gold because it kind of slopped a little there too. Um, got the gray shade washed. Got the leathers painted. Got the skin painted. And got the back of the shield painted. Got all the gold touched up, so it's all 
a little spiffier and she's looking she's looking a lot better now um, now that I kind of caught up to where I, I was supposed to be I also painted the uh, blade on her sword there um, I'll go ahead and shade wash that now because it's been a little, been a minute since I painted that. That looks a lot darker than I thought that it was going to be. That is not. And I just painted it with the wrong color. <clears throat> that was freaking brilliant. Okay, so when you're painting uh, dark colors, they all kind of look alike after a while. What did I do? Did not put the normal oil out. That is weird. <laughs> so, uh, this is a professional production, can you tell? Um, so anyway, I've basically caught up to where I wanted to be. For some reason, I painted that blade green uh, with the green contrast from the last video instead of shade washing it like that. Another layer of shade wash on the pants here. Um, not sure why my shade wash dried up as fast as it did. It should not have. There we go. Alright. So now we're caught up to where we're, where we should have been. Still kind of a green sheen to that sword, but I think it's going to work. Um, I'm going to dry brush the sword with Necron Compound anyway, so it's not going to be a huge difference. But, um, yeah, she's looking pretty good so far. I'm going to uh, let everything dry because there's still a lot of uh, wet contrast paint on there. And then uh, when we come back, we'll uh, paint the armor uh, gold and probably shade wash it with the Seraphim Sepia. And then uh, dry brush it all with the necro uh, with the uh, golden griffin. But yeah, she's coming along. So see you in a little bit. Bye. All right, progress time. Uh, as you can see, I've layered up the golds with the Vallejo Old Gold, and shade washed them with the Seraphim Sepia, which is still kind of wet. And I've also based the reds, the cloth and the horsehair crest. A loincloth there. I've decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the cloak and the loincloth there in Flesh Terror's red, but I'm going to do the crest in Blood Angel's red uh, contrast just to give it a little bit of difference because you see that part right there where the horsehair kind of comes in contact with the cloak. I want it to look like two different reds, you know, I want it to be a distinct red color. Um, but for right now, the Seraphim Sepia is still wet, so I'm going to let that dry. And then when I come back, I will dry brush it, dry brush the gold with the golden griffin. And then we will uh, do the contrast paints. So I'm pretty happy with how she's coming out so far. She's looking pretty good. Or a pretty vicious little female Trojan warrior there. Oh, and I dry brushed the sword. So I got that done. So, all right. So I'm going to take a break and let the Seraphim Sepia walk dry and then when we come back we'll start in on the uh, contrast for the cloth and the hair all right see you then bye all right I've made some progress on our girl here I got all the armor dry brushed and it's looking really spiff and I got the cloak and loincloth painted and the crest on her painted and as you can see there's definitely a difference between uh, the blood angels red on the crest up here and the flesh terror is red of the cloak. The flesh terror is a much darker, bl kind of bloody red, whereas the uh, crest is brighter, more attention getting red. And I think that shows off really nicely against that gold armor. I think it looks really fantastic. Um, so, yeah, she's all ready to go. I'm, I'd say I'm pretty close to calling her done. Just a base left to do. I'm going to take a break and let these um, contrast paints dry. And uh, then we'll get started in on the base. Alright, so I will see you soon. Bye. And there she is, ladies and gentlemen, our finished Taroya, female warrior, in her Spartan armor. Looking pretty good. Ready to give King Leonidas a run for his money. 
I'm pretty happy with how she turned out. So I'm calling her done. We're going to wrap up this video. And next week we'll be starting in on an Elf Ranger. So thanks for watching. And I will see you guys next week. Bye. Hey Brush Monkeys, Tom from Fly Monkey Studios here. If you like what you see, click like down below. If you want to be notified when new videos come out, go ahead and click subscribe. It's like over here somewhere, right there. Um, that'll Those will both help with my YouTube numbers and uh, bring me that much closer to monetizing this channel and being able to do what I love to do full time. Uh, if you want to get your hands on some of the miniatures I painted here, visit our Instagram and Tumblr pages. I post pictures of both of those on a regular basis. I post videos on TikTok on a regular basis. Um, mostly to direct traffic here to the YouTube channel, but you know, there's some other stuff there that's kind of cool. So go check that out. And if you want to show some love for your favorite uh, monkey-based miniature painter, go check out our merch store at storefrontier.com slash flyingmonkeystudios to get our t-shirts, sweatshirts, long sleeve t-shirts, um, can cozies, aprons, face masks, we've got all kinds of stuff there in a bunch of different colors uh, including tie-dye, we've got some tie-dye shirts on there uh, if you want to check that out. So go check that out, go check us out on our other social medias and follow us on Twitter for updates on the channel as well and uh, thanks for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye!